Welcome to the SAS video tutorial on importing data into SAS. So what we're going to do is we are going to read in some data into SAS. This is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University, but anybody can use it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is the GUI way, and then we'll come back and do it the code way. But we're going to get SAS to write the code for us. So the first thing we're going to do is going to run up to File. And if you notice here, there's Import Data. So let's click on it. If you notice, there are some options here. Now, I've downloaded already the Cycler.csv or Cycler CPK data that we've used uh, in the R videos. Uh, it's linked in the repository below. So if you go to the repository down there, it's a bit.ly link, you will find this data set in there. So it's a comma separated values. Uh, I put it on my desktop. So I'm going to search my desktop. And sure enough, here's CyclerCPK.csv. So if you pull that one off the repository, you should be able to use this. Now I'm going to click Next. Uh, I have a library here that I need to put things in. And we're going to talk more about libraries in a later video, but right now we're going to put things in work. Now, work is a bit dangerous in the sense that anything put into work will be blown away when you close the uh, SAS session. All right, so I'm going to call this Cycler. Now, notice the Finish button is here, but I don't actually want to click the Finish button. What I want to click is Next. And what I want to do is save this. It says that it can, the Import Wizard can create a file containing the PROC import statements. So let's browse this. Uh, I'm going to click here because I already have it. I called it Import Cycler.sass. I'm going to hit Save, and it's going to ask me to replace it, and I say Yes. Uh, and then I'm going to hit Finish. Now, what this did is it not only read in the data, which we can go through libraries to work, and you can see Cycler is right here, and if I double-click on it, you can see the data. Now, reading in the data is important, and looking at it and verifying it's there is important, so you have to get used to using this Explorer. However, when we're in Explorer, if we wish to move up, we click this button up here, which will take us up to our original level. Now, the other thing we want to do is read in the program it just made. Since it made us a program, let's read it in and see what the code looks like. Okay, so we have the code right here. I'm going to copy and paste it into my editor below so that I can put comments around this because we really haven't talked about how to put comments. I'm going to close this file because I don't want it open. Uh, I can reuse it again because it already has everything here. Okay, so what we're going to do to this is I'm going to stretch out this window so we can see it better. Hopefully the font's big enough for everybody to read. Okay, so the comment is the star. So read in cycler uh, cpk.csv. And then you have to put a semicolon at the end. SAS is really funny about semicolons at the end, so you got to get used to them. All right, so the proc import is sort of obvious what it's going to do. Uh, you can put in here out equals tells us where this is going to be stored. So I'm going to put here, uh, this is the library uh, dot data set name. Okay, so this is going to be in the work library dot the data set name. Okay, data file is where it's located. So I'm going to put this here, data file, path to file. So you can go and find that. Uh, the next thing is, is DBMS. DBMS is database management system, but this is basically the format. So what format is it? It's a CSV. Replace means, do I want to overwrite it? So I'm going to put here... Replace uh, means overwrite the last file in the library. So if you do that, it'll overwrite it. Um, there's We can add some other comments here. Uh, in between semicolons and when things start, you really don't want to put comments. You can put inline comments, but they're a little bit harder, and we'll do that later. Right now, this get names means here uh, is, is the first row a header row? Is the first row a header row, which means it has the titles of each of the columns in it. In this case, yes. And data row is the row that each of the data or the data starts on. So data row is which line is the first line of data. 
Okay, so second line, because the first row is the header row. The second line is where the data actually starts. Now, if we wanted to, we could come over here to libraries, work, cycler, and I'm going to hit here, and I'm just going to delete this. Okay, so I'm going to delete it, uh, and it's going to say, do you want to do this? And I'm going to say, sure, that sounds like a good idea. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my original editor. Notice the menu changes here. Notice up here the toolbar changes when you're doing this. I'm going to click, highlight this, and click Run. And this is going to push this to the log. And notice Cycler shows back up. And in the log, you can see information that says 40 rows created. Uh, this might be a little bit hard to read in uh, the video, but hopefully the code over here is clear enough for you to actually follow along. All right, so we've read in a CSV file into SAS, and you can use this to read in all kinds of different formats, so I'm not gonna have a video on how to do each and every format. Just simply go up to File, Import Data, and here's a list of all the formats that you can read in. And you can use this GUI and it will create new uh, code for you each and every time. So you have lots of options here. So that's why I'm not going to go over it. All right. So let's move on to the next video.